Hello, Lacamas Leopards. It's Mrs. Mueller, and I'm here at Lacamas. Our teachers are busy planning for your remote learning, but they're also planning on classrooms and getting classrooms ready. So I thought for today, I'd come and do some of our question answers, which are outlined in our leopard update from one of our classrooms. So as we come in, you're gonna start seeing how our teachers are getting ready. They're watching and spacing out their desks and setting up because this year is going to post times when we're remote, but we're hoping to get our leopards back with us. So we're doing some of both. Now, some of the questions that are coming up are questions around like materials, Chromebooks, and around supply lists. And I want to let you know that we're working on those things. So all of our kinder through third grade will be receiving our Chromebooks this year. And we'll have a process kind of like what we did with our reverse parades where you came and we hand out. But we wanna wait until we get all of our materials so that we're having it kind of a one stop. So you will also be receiving math manipulatives, a whiteboard, some of those things in our back to school things that we have to get them here before I can send out information to get them to you. So that is all in the plan. Chromebooks to families, manipulatives, math books for our second through fifth grade, um, whiteboards and things, some supplies to help you at home when we have our remote learning. Now, for supplies, we are needing to really think about what is it exactly that our kids need at home. You'll see from our student spotlight this week, Lainey and Maddie gave a suggestion for, hey, start setting up. Where are you going to do school at home and getting your things together? And for those who already have your Chromebook, get it charged was their input for that. But our supplies will be more basic supplies that students will be able to keep maybe in their in their kind of um, their their supply box that then when we do get to transition back that we'll be able to have those supplies come back and forth. Now, a big question that's out there is, so what is this learning day going to look like? We've learned a lot from last year. And so from the learning from last year and from feedback from families is to have more of a structure. So that's what our teachers are working on. And then also to have, when is it best to do this in person that we're actually talking and connecting? And when is it best to do a video? This is called synchronous. We're together, we're in sync or asynchronous, that's when your teacher will tape videos. Well, it turns out that for the direct instruction, asynchronous videos are going to be a great option. And your teacher will go over, they're gonna ta tape some short videos for your direct instruction opportunities and then share out what that practice will look like. And then for the synchronous times, those will be times when we meet in a community together and build our community and our relationship and we support each other through these different times and also for small group work and things like that and maybe a read aloud. So what will a schedule look like? Now the schedule has to be both kind of set but also have families some flexibility. So that is what we are working on. And we have kind of a draft schedule that I pushed out in our letter that I wanted to share here. So maybe your day might look like this. Let's see if I can get it up. You might start with your community circle. That would be asynchronous. We're all together. We're gonna to talk about our social, emotional. We'll support each other, have some fun. Then maybe you'll get a break. Then there'll be three instructional blocks. For block one, you might have some small group time where you would be again with your teacher. But maybe for block two, you're going to be asynchronous, meaning you're gonna watch a cool video that your teacher has put together or that grade level team. You're gonna have an activity that you will do to help practice your learning. Then of course, everybody's gonna need lunch We'll have maybe another time where your teacher will be reading aloud. And of course, your specialist. So we know that Mrs. Lavalley, Mrs. Moran, and Mrs. Lauks, they don't wanna miss out on this. And so they will also be meeting with you. And then wrapping it up for the day. Now, what our goal is, is that we will each Friday kind of share out what our plan is for the next week and also keeping that communication open with our families. This is a different time. 
but there's some really exciting things happening with education. We're at a point where we get to research, learn, and really impact learning for kids. I'm excited about what we're going to be producing and sharing with our kids. Number one, though, is our relationships with our kids. And so with that, we'll spend, just like we do any year, a good portion of the start, our first couple weeks, building community, building relationships, teaching kids how to do this, and also teaching you parents. So there's some questions and answers. I hope that it helps you. We'll keep you updated as more information comes. And always, thank you so much for your support. We'll see you soon. Bye.